Hi, it's Therese from Austin Paper and I'm back with more embossing this week and today I'm going to be embossing with a stencil. It's a very easy technique and a fun way to get more out of your stencils. So this is called the Sunburst stencil. It's a new release today. This is part of a hop with Ulta News. So I'll have some details in a minute um, about how you can win. So hang on for that. Now what I'm doing here is I've got a piece of the Nina, it's an 80 pound, so it's a lighter weight cardstock. I'm attaching my stencil directly to that and I've got my Big Shot set at tab 1. I'm using a base plate and then I've got the actual cardstock with the stencil but I face it with the cardstock on top and then I'll add my silicone mat. So if you like to emboss the other way you can simply just reverse that and have the silicone mat underneath if <laughs> that makes sense some people like to die cut with their dies down but i always go up that way i don't bend my base plate and warp everything then i've just added a top plate and i'm just going to run it through my die cutting machine now there is not a lot of pressure when you're embossing you really shouldn't feel much resistance at all if you are feeling resistance um, just check your sandwich and generally you haven't got it at tab one that's what happens to me so i'm just checking here the depth and I want to see if I can get a bit of a better um, a better embossed look with this stencil. So I've added a shim. Now I just use my metallic shim, but you can easily use a piece of cardstock. And that just um, did it like a second embossing with a little bit more pressure. And I, it is hard to see because this is a clean and simple card. And of course it's got a white background. So there you go. Pretty though. It's a really nice stencil. So I decided to add just a few spatters of the ink spray, which is what is also being released today. And I've got three of the new colours here. Actually, I've got four, but you'll see the other one in a minute. But the oranges are out. <laughs> so I've got the orange cream. Of course, I grabbed that one first. The orange cream, sun-kissed and the mountain mist. And what I thought I'd do today is some watercolouring with the ink sprays. Oh, that was a message from Barb. Hi, Barb. So the great thing about these ink sprays is that they're metallic, so they have this shimmer to them. But if you didn't really want the shimmer, because it settles at the bottom of the little bottles, just don't shake the bottle. But if you want the metallic shimmer, which I did, because it looks awesome. It is hard to see in the photos, but in real life, oh my goodness, it looks amazing. Um, just shake it and you can actually look at the bottom of the bottle and see if it has mixed before you pour it out. So the stamp I've got here is Charmed and I have pre-stamped it uh, because it's the permanent black ink. If you're stamping and watercolouring the Ulta New Permanent Black ink is perfect. You just need to give it about 20 minutes to dry and I'm sure you don't want to sit here and wait for 20 minutes watching ink dry. <laughs> so I'm just doing the technique wet on wet technique and I'm using uh, aqua brush here and you might have noticed it was a little bit dirty so I did have to clean it. <laughs> I didn't realize at the beginning and originally oh this is the other new color originally I was going with like the just the two oranges and I just thought it was lacking a little bit of more colour. So I've brought in the Puffy Heart which is another new ink spray colour and this just I think took it to the next level having that other colour in there and then what I've done is like I was saying the wet on wet technique so I've dropped some water onto the cardstock it's Bristol Smooth cardstock and then picked up the colour and dropped it into the water. I've been really patient here and waiting for it to dry. In fact, this card was made over three days. I didn't even realize that. Because <laughs> I've been at work, I sort of came home, did a bit, waited for it to dry, did another bit, made the sentiment, waited for it to dry, thought about what I was gonna do with the centers, waited for it to dry. You know how it goes. Anyway, so it's got lots of layers and the Bristol held up really well because it's not actually watercolor cardstock. But I found by waiting for it to dry in between each layer of color, 
it really tolerated these ink sprays extremely well. So this, like I said, is part of a blog hop and a giveaway. And it's heaps of new fun stencils, which in my mind are a really great option for us card makers. They're, a, they're really affordable and you can do so much with them. And I don't use them enough. And I have been lately and I've been really enjoying them because I'm a hoarder. I don't, is that like, it's kind of like a confession, isn't it? So if I have a design paper, I won't use it. I like to just keep it and look at it. So that's where the stencils are great because I can make as many as I want and I'm not having to use something that I can't replace. The release also has new ink sprays in lots of fun alternate colors and I was really happy to see the orange in there. And to be able to win, head through the description below and leave a comment at my blog and I'll also link everyone else's blog along the hop and if you head to them you also have more chances to win. So I'm just putting the card together now. I've added my black ink splattered background. I did have to cut that sunburst stencil down and I kept the circle bit in the center and then I've just popped up my flower that I did fussy cut out. I've added a sentiment from the inked rose stamp set and I've got a couple of other cards at my blog for this release so and I've used the inked rose on one of those cards and in the end I did decide to come in with my Copic multi-liner and make some black stamen on the flowers and I think that did help. All right so if you like this video please like it and if you haven't already I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Till next time happy paper crafting bye